episode. Ah, here we go. Craig Shoemaker still standing up. The podcast with D. Wallace Stone. No Wallace, no oh. Stone. D. D. That's good enough. I'm just here with D. Wallace. <laughs> I'm just going with D. Oh, By the end of this, I might so pick another fun. letter of the alphabet. You're you might fine for you, me. You I'm be, adaptable. I'm you an might actor. be F. By the end of this thing, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give D, W with another letter. Okay, D. Are we on? Come on, my crack staff. I got 900 people here. You would think that one of them would say action. I'm, I'm just. When I'm ready. Action. That doesn't sound like action to me. Does it D action. or F or Z or whatever? <laughs> Hi, D. Such a pleasure to meet you. And I Thank mean you. that sincerely, not in a Hollywood transactional friendship way. I sought you years ago. I was turned on to. I was going to say. I, I was, know I, I hear that a lot. I <laughs> <laughs> I love that you interrupted my inappropriate thing that I was about to say. I love that you. That's the vibe that we catch. I caught the vibe, though. I'm a psychic, and I caught it years ago, and I tried to get you on another podcast. Well, but fortunately, everything, I don't know, your people said no. I don't know. No, <laughs> don't know. my people go through me. That's, so I must have been shooting or something. I don't know what you were doing, but you're here today, and that's all it is. That's it's about right. the presence of today. And I'm in a really good space today, so we're going to have a good time. I can tell. Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah, of I course can. you can. This is going to be one reading the other. This is going to be <laughs> uncomfortable and comfortable at the same time. Maybe <laughs> uncomfortable with people at home going, what are these two doing? Uh, so I I noticed you years ago. Listen, it's great. Your accomplishments in the movies. You've been in, of course, one of the best films of all time. We are talking about Wizard of Oz earlier. There's a lot of Wizard of Oz there is. within E.T. Mm-hmm where you played the mom and amazing performance. Thank and you. Did you know at the time that it was going to be an epic? No. You didn't? No, it was supposed to be Stephen's little film. And, you know, I don't think you ever know while you're doing a project. And personally, I don't think most creative people ever think about it. They just go in to be present and do the best they can. Yeah. And then when it comes out and it's a blockbuster, then everybody's really happy. But yeah, you turn the results over. You can the outcome isn't isn't in your hands. But if you're present and active and creative, then you are you're 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 leaning. The results will most likely be a little better if you put that work in. Of course, but there's no way you can ever have anything to say about the outcome. No, too many things have to come together, especially the audience. The audience. Hmm has to be ready consciously yeah. for stories like that. And another place in time, it might not have been that successful. Exactly. That's what's so odd about it, is that was the, came out at the exact moment it was yep. supposed to come out. You and bet. that happens only every, doesn't happen that often, where the timing is right. Mm-hmm. How about The Wizard of Oz when they predict in the beginning of the movie, this will be something that lasts for generations? Isn't it amazing? Nobody's ever done that in film history. It says it right in the beginning. This will last for generations, and it does. I was not aware of that. In the beginning of the film, they wow. The whole preface is: this will be something that families will enjoy for generations. Well, they were spot on, weren't they? They were. ET is really our generation's Wizard of Oz. That's right. It's going to be here forever. And there are so many. He does. Steven Spielberg does a, a big homage to. Now, did he mention that on the set that this is that was his favorite film or one of his favorite films? No. Because there's a, you know, the bike scene that's similar to what happened with Dorothy and the you know bicycle with Toto. There's a lot of similarities in the movie and it, 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 especially the story itself about finding oneself and so on. Yes, but he's does he say this to you while no. he's doing? No, he's it just no. Just, we didn't discuss no. Really? Nope. And it's, uh, so you he just says action and you go do your acting thing. <laughs> so. Kinda. Really, yeah. and actually, that's kind of how I like to work. Mm. I I don't want to come with a lot of ideas and a lot of preparation. I want her to tell me what to do, mm. and that's for her me, being your being, your spirit. No, her being the character, Mary. Oh, interesting. Uh, like you know, the big dinner table scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where uh, I say, well, why don't you tell your father? And he says, I can't. He's in Mexico with Sally. Mm. And as Mary, I felt these tears coming up. And I thought, I can't let the kids see me cry. Mm. So I got up and left, which was not in the script. And Stephen came over to me and said, Dee, 
why did you get up and leave? And I explained to him what happened. And he looked at me and he turned and he said, guys, you've got a half an hour. I need you to build a kitchen wall with a sink and running water. You've got 30 minutes. So he could take me over to the sink and bring me into that close-up where I say he hates Mexico. And every great director, big or small, that I've ever worked with has been open to those magical moments where the heart takes over Mm. and logic is put aside. I I don't think I was too far off when at first I thought you were going with your your spirit, your genuine spirit. You know, that voice that's inside of all of us that ethereal voice, that f- voice of light, that took over for you. Would you say that would probably be true because you're yes. centered enough in yourself that you can trust that voice and yes. that voice took you to the other Absolutely. Room. Of course, yeah. the character I played in The Frighteners, mm-hmm. where I end up killing people, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that voice is a different voice, but it's still the true voice yeah. of who she is. The character, yeah. She is in combination with you in all parts, or always uh, in, in synchronicity with you and your true spirit. Yes, not that I've killed anybody. I <laughs> want to make sure everybody understands. Well, we've all wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that, that has crossed all of our minds. Yeah, but but it doesn't manifest itself in an actual killing because we have this deeper consciousness. Within Absolutely. Us. And some people are not in touch with that. And that's where you do have people that kill others. Yes. I, and the that's reason what I, I teach. wanted you on my podcast years ago that I noticed is I call it rarefied air. You're in that rarefied air that I respect, that I honor, that I want to embrace, that I want to bring in. I want to invite it into oh, my space. Thank you. And that's what I noticed. It's not the acting. Of course, there's so many great actors, but I can tell who's channeling another thing you know what i mean who's in that and yes. and then you took that thought that i have and you've taken that and you actually do speak and write all about consciousness deeper consciousness I right do. yeah that's why you're here <laughs> so okay a blended with the art well and, and the creativity which it is all of the same because the creator makes us creative ab- if you tap into that absolutely yeah So I jokingly say that I spend half of my life doing horror films and the other half uh, teaching people how to heal themselves from fear. Mm. Somehow it works very well for me. (laughs) It's a a balance that I haven't quite figured out, but I'm rolling with it. Do you think one leads to the credibility to the other? I do because you understand it. Yeah. When you play it as an actor, I mean, when I did The Mother in Cujo, Mm. I did not have children. At the time. At the time. Mm -hmm. But I had a mother. Oh, here come the tears. Sorry. (laughs) I had a mother. My father was a a severe alcoholic. Mm. And I had a really strong mother and grandmother that taught me wonderful values. And I saw them rise above every difficulty in their life. And so when I have difficulties come into my life, Mm -hmm. and this is one of the principles I teach, that's your story. Mm. If you keep telling your story, you will keep living your story. You'll be a victim to it. Yeah. Yeah. What do I get to do with my story Mm. now? Absolutely. What story do I want to write that's different? For me. And write write the story where you're the hero. You're the one who's going to go through whatever pain it is and not suffer because suffering is a choice. You're not going to suffer through it and keep repeating the same behaviors, which is insanity, expecting different results. But you're actually owning this spirit that's within you. It's a healed spirit. It's a beautiful spirit. It's infinite. It's light. It's joy. It's wonderment. It's curiosity. It's love. It's love. It's divine, gigantic love. Yeah, but you see... At the end of the day, that's what it is. The challenge is, is that none of us are taught we are that. 
we're actually taught we're not. Don't be powerful. Don't love yourself too much. Don't know that you create your own life. Don't know that you're responsible. Everybody wants somebody else to be responsible for why they can't do what they want to do. Including uh, our parents. Oh, especially our parents. Uh, that's immediately out of the gate. My dad left when I was born, but that was my opportunity to go find the true father in me. And, 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 you, yes. and uh, we can find that. It's not a separate thing. And, but we, what we do is we have now have the excuse of staying in that pain and staying in that victimhood. We have the excuse because, oh, look what happened to exactly. me. Exactly. It doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. If you can make it, if you can turn around, you use the alchemy and say, I can turn this around. To ha this is happening for me because I can now get more present, more active yes. with my higher source, my higher power that exists inside of all of us, this potency that we can tap into. And you know, and that's why you're here. Again, I'll remind <laughs> you time and time again. That's what I got from what I read about you years wow. ago. Wow. That's what that's I picked up. Awesome. So some, some other thing was at work and saying, I would like to know her. I would like to find out more and discover more of your journey that got awesome. you to that place. Huh. Not your credits. No, no. But I, the credits, what's great about the credits I is understand. It, it allows you to be on different things where the, you know, that's the, Absolutely. That's it gives the you a platform point. to yeah, use your yeah. voice. Yeah, that's the access. And you know, yeah. I, I want to share this with your listeners. I'm a clear audience channel, and what my channel has very clearly explained to us is that we choose the families we're born into, yeah, yeah. usually to learn yeah. what we do not want in this life. Yeah, yeah. That's funny and, you should say that I raise my kids, and there's a mantra that I use. I'm going to give them everything that I longed for, and it's very easy to access that. So if I long to be held, listened to, heard, respected. seen, respected, I just give them that. Yeah. I take that sacred pause. Lucky breathe. them. Hmm? Lucky them. Yeah. I mean. No. Sometime. Own it. Lucky them that you are. True. Enlightened True. enough to. At times I'm not. When I'm out of my practice, I'm not. I'm not as present when I'm out of practice, when I'm in fear, when I am in loathing, self-loathing or other people's. When I'm not in that space, when I'm not doing my, my, my work. You know, they probably can't see it, but we both have tears in our eyes right now, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> By the way, we just met. <laughs> we did, but literally. We, we shook hands. But we didn't. You know right. what I mean? It's just that's the way it is. I have this happen. I call it rarefied air. I get chills and tears yeah. when I feel that rarefied air when I'm with somebody who's of that. Just it's a high consciousness. And a lot of people watching right now are tuning out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're not going to get it. Can we swear on this show? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so fuck. Fuck them. <laughs> I, you know, let's just bring it down to the normal, to everyday vibration. creation <laughs> yeah. process. Yeah, right. Right? When the channel first contacted me, I went, okay, you're not going to use my body. You're not going to use my mind. I'm not going to take people's shit on. I'm not signing up for any of that. Yeah. Don't tell me I can't have my scotch or wine at night. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. signing up for any of that. Uh, you know, I want, and this is how you have to direct energy. I will do this only if I am an objective observer that can look into energy and help guide people mm -hmm. into creating themselves mm -hmm. in a higher and more loving way. And that does not include collusion with them. Or guilt. Or Yes, or shame. Oh, my God. Too much shame. guilt yeah. in this world. And shame. It's just, it's, it's running people, and it runs them, as opposed to, let's step back. I always call it spiritus, which is a Latin word for breath. Take that breath. I love that. Every time I take that breath... If I'm in a condition where I'm ready to do something from my past, and that's pounce or get over, get by, steal, lie, cheat, any of that stuff, that's it's like I'm programmed that way. If I take that spirit, spiritus, that breath, literally never does that happen. Yes. 
It's only going to be something because loving. Because you're making a choice. Make the choice. You make the choice. But we but... live in a world that's not making those choices. They're making these quick choices that's fed to us 24 hours a day now yeah. with scrolling and everything else. And artificial intelligence is taking over our divine intelligence. We're. <laughs> because we're allowing, allowing it. Allowing it. We're yeah. allowing it. Not breathing and taking that sacred pause to say, People ah. want to be told what to do. And as they long do. as we're we told what to think, what to do, who to believe, we are not creating who ourselves. Yes. Big one. Who, who to, to blame. blame. Who to yeah. blame. And it starts with the obvious, you go to therapists, it's your parents, it's your mother, it's your father. And it gives, the, it's a cop out. It allows you to go, okay, I'm not going to get any better here because I'm just going to keep on blaming them. I'm going to put direct all of my rage at them. I'm going to direct. But then they owe you, own you. Of course. They own you. If you they don't own, forgive. They own your ass. Exactly. They right. own your ass. You bet they do. Do you know that you'll and get. I have a very nice one. You, yeah. You'll. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many people watching for me to say what I was about to say. <laughs> too many witnesses. I'll get me too I had a thing happen in my life where I could really be the victim of it for the rest of my life. Oh, me too. And it's one of the, it's one of you those. You want to talk it, about it? It's one, sure. I, I've talked about, I don't know if I talked about it on this show before. I was kidnapped by a serial pedophile, right? Oh, Craig. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, Craig. I am, I own it. Yeah. To the point where well, you have I am to. so much practice of forgiveness, which also takes place in other places in my life. I've had a lot of things that would, some would say that would kill me. I could never even live through that, blah, 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 whatever it is. No, each one of them is a step up. Yeah. Each one of them is if you more consciousness. Of, for it to And be. I made that the choice. Yeah. Look, so I can say his name out loud. It means nothing to me. I'm not in tears when I was Ben Rauscher is his name. He took me away to this ghetto hotel. A 13-year-old boy hadn't hit puberty yet, didn't have a father, and that's what he did. And I watched this special. Did you see this 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 documentary about the kids in Hollywood that No, the, I haven't the, seen it. The Nickelodeon it yet. thing. Oh, it's it's pretty damn sad. I'm looking into their souls because I am one of those souls. Yeah. And it's a whole other perspective I think that other people have. I'm going, "Wow. I have an idea for you <laughs> of how to handle this." Yeah, and and you it know, is it I embrace it, talk about it, freedom happens, which we all want to be free, right? Yeah. But you're not free if you continue to use that as no, there's my excuse. Never. I can't get any better. I can't let someone in. I can't let someone's love in. I'm sorry. I'm off of this. I'm off of men. I'm off of women. All that kind of stuff. You're just preventing your own happiness, your own Absolutely. joy, your own absolute ethereal bliss. Yeah. You're just preventing I mean, it. Uh, I have. I have a huge healing practice all around the world and I'll have people just are joining say, yeah, D, but you're, you know, a Hollywood actress and you've got a nice home and everything's easy for you. And I said, let me tell you my story. Yeah. And it's my story. It's right. not who I am now. Yeah. Very poor yeah. growing up. Right. Father was a severe alcoholic. There you go. Yeah. Committed suicide. Uh, the first time tried in my bed for a yeah. good have a ball with that. Three years ago, my younger brother, alcoholic, committed suicide. Oh, dear. You know, yeah. been hurt by a lot of big people in the industry. Yeah. And, you know, I can sit here and honestly say I love who I am. And you're grateful to all of it. Yeah, I and am. And here you are showing up in bright blue. <laughs> it's my color. My mom used to say it's, it's a good Deanna color on blue. you. It's it says Deanna. everything. When I walked in the room and there's your beautiful light presence that I had never met before, it was the first thing I noticed is this blue that makes you shine even more than you. I already knew that you did. No. Oh. Thanks. It's, it's, it's my favorite color. It's an indication of you have this confidence that you are connected to your higher source. That's what it says to me. Yeah, and I just, you, I'm just safe being me. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that's in almost all of my reviews, that's the one consistent 
thing that goes throughout all of them is she's so believable. Mm, mm. You know, well, that because... E.T. mother, I mean, forget about it. I mean, it's like one of the top moms of all time. Yeah. I mean, of all lucky time. Lucky me, huh? Yeah. Lucky you. Well, lucky them. And, and I th- lucky Spielberg. Lucky I, everyone you well, worked with. Lucky Drew Barrymore. Lucky. Uh, uh, thank you. What was the boy's name? I did witness. Henry Thomas. I, yeah. I was in... And Robert McNaughton played the older son. I had a little scene with him in Witness. Oh. Yeah. He's he, lovely. He did that after he did your, your film. Yeah. And. My so film, tell, I let, love that. Let me, let me ask you something. Okay. If oh, you, we're getting serious. No, it's not serious. Oh, okay. No, or it could be if you wanted it to. Okay. You have this road and this road, as we talked earlier about the Wizard of Oz before we went on this podcast. Mm-hmm. So you go like the scarecrow. You go this way or you go this way. You have a choice. It's only two choices, I hate to tell you. The spiritual path of enlightenment and those practices and teaching that or acting. Which are you choosing? You only get two choices, sorry. Well, I choose the spiritual path because I take it into all my acting. So I don't have to really make a choice. (laughs) Yes, you do. Okay, the spiritual (laughs) one. For this play. The spiritual one. I I knew that was going to be the answer, and that's what I wish for other people. This is called still standing up. It's about life's turnaround, and when you make that choice, the other that's you're saying exactly yeah. where I'm coming See, from. Is, we're just it's, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's simpatico. That's where all the answers to th- any career choice doesn't matter if you're mechanic or anything you do. Once you get centered in that space. Then your relationships change. Everything changes around you. The success happens. It might not happen in the, in the you know, like billionaire. It doesn't and you matter. you know that's brain science? What's that? The en- energy follows shift, the thought? When you shift the energy within you, all energy around you has to shift to match it. And first, the thoughts need to change because the energy yeah. follows the thoughts. Because we're put... In embodiment, we choose to be here to learn free will. Yeah. So nobody can think a thought for us, feel a feeling for us, or hold a belief for us. So we're the God of us on this plane, working with the God of all. Yeah. Or energy, or the force. Whatever your term is, it really doesn't care. I have a curious question. Okay. This is off of this base. What is your love life like? Like with a paramour, with a significant other, what is that life like for you oh, I today? Have a, I have a great guy that I've been with for 11 years. There you go. Uh, he's an electronics engineer, so his brain works over here and mine's <laughs> way over there. Isn't that great? <laughs> it works for us. Yeah. But I'm telling you, um, the greatest love of my life is my daughter. Mm. Gabrielle. And she was a miracle. She was my miracle baby. I had six specialists tell me I would never have a baby. Mm. And I said, thanks for sharing. God and I (laughs) have a different plan. (laughs) That's what I mean. People and people that are supposed to know and people that you trust to know. (laughs) <laughs> will will give you limitations. I know. We, and and we, you just have to stand up. We empower them. Well, they, they don't have the power, but except for what we give them. But you we're know, I, taught they, we that, make them Craig, in, we, we make them into icons. And you know what icon is? Icon. They're conning us. <laughs> <laughs> they are, I'm going to steal that. They're, they're, I'm going to steal it. They're, they're, they are conning us Let me to tell believe you. in them and give our belief and give our lives over to them. Yes. And I've watched this happen, by the way, unfortunately, in situations very close to me. I watched someone of great beauty, magnificence, tapped into the higher source, give the power over to it, a very strong influence, a very negative and dark influence. It's one mm-hmm. of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life, to watch and someone go to an icon yes. and be conned. And we are truly taught from conception to eight years old. Again, this is brain science and spirituality. It's amazing when you put them side by side, they're saying the same thing. That whatever you're taught verbally or modeled in front of you 
that's the way your brain looks at the world and says that's the way it works. Mm. So if you're hitting a wall and you don't understand, why do I keep hitting this wall? I make money and then I lose it. Or I can't make money no matter what I do. Go back and see from conception to eight what you were taught or what you watched in front of you in your family. I can't believe you're saying this. What I You'll coach, see why. What I coach is exactly what I say. You're, if we come out love, light, and levity. We come out of yeah. the gate, right? That's who we are. We come That's out, who you are I'm authentically. Fabulous. Look at this. And, and then the programming begins. Yes. And they So think, my goal is when I coach is to recondition, reprogram yes. those memes, those thoughts. That DNA became part of our DNA. Yes. How we respond to fear, how we respond. And then there's the mob mentality. It says, go this way. When you're listening to yourself going, that doesn't feel right, but I'm going to end up going that way because it's the easier, softer way. If you challenge yourself and go, I'm going to listen to myself and this gigantic source within me, not this little source that's conning me, that's that's taking me down this road because of their ego. If I remove the ego, which I, I call evading growth opportunity, Oh, nice. Stealing that one, too? Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. (sighs) If I can check that out and take that spirit to take that breath, take that pause, and that will tell me it will inform my next steps. And the next step is never to follow them. Never. Yeah. Bottom line is if it doesn't talk, act, and profess love, Go the other way. Exactly. Just follow love. That's exactly right. That's pretty easy in our political situation. Right Let me now. ask you something <laughs> in, in, in that realm, of, in staying in that space. Do you have, this is something I seek. I seek people like you. I, I, I want to make a club. There's got to be a club. It's quiet, serene but it also has this infinite magnificence and curiosity and, and laughter. Power. And laughter. Yes. That's laughter the big one for me. Important. That's the big one for me. I'm going to take you through one of my little, you know, I do guided laughitation. Ah! I love that. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got it as soon as you said it. Yeah, there you go. It. There you go. I, and this is, I, it's my pathway to, it's my bullet train to higher source to God, like whatever one calls it. And it's my bullet train to there is laughter because meditation, quite frankly, for me, a kid that's been through a lot, it gets messy in there when I'm trying to meditation and I'm trying not being, you know, it's just, it's, it's a little more difficult, but the laugh, the guided laughitation, there's nothing else except for that presence. There's nothing else. You cannot be depressed while you're laughing. Did you know that? They I can't exist. That. They can't exist You're, in the same space. I know. You can't love and hate at the <laughs> exactly. same time either. Exactly right. Can only hold one space. And by the way, of speaking focus. of hate, you can't be in hate when you're laughing. You cannot, it cannot right. exist in the same space. That's right. So imagine if we were programmed like that and we're not. It's literally But we can we can invite our little children Abs- in. Absolutely. And teach them a higher way. A hundred percent. So Trust what I'm asking me. you is, maybe yes. you're in, maybe you're on to it. Maybe is there a club out there? I want that club. And by the way, I'm going to put this out to the world right now. I'm going to manifest this. If anyone wants to be in this club that I'm talking about, where we we are together as one, the oneness, the wholeness, and we work on those practices, or not even work, play. Yeah, better. have these practices that are bringing us to this divine presence, to this mindfulness, this consciousness. If there was a group like that, I'm in. And there's no leaders because we're all one. How could it be yeah. a leader? There's no one deified. There's no icons, icons, those cons. There's none of those. <laughs> we just exist to have this presence, to have these discussions like we're having now that uplift and elevate us. Mm-hmm. I want to go there. I'm going there. You're joining me? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, baby. I'm already here. I'm going to take you through a guided levitation. Okay. You ready? Yes. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I want you to think about something. Just okay. give it some thought. Okay. Something that, you know, let's not be your higher consciousness and just for this moment or very or healed. 
let's take the, a little section of something that's not healed. Maybe something made you got cry or, or early. Oh, you got it. Okay, oh, I something, got it. Something that's painful and it stays with you. And, you know, we all know it can go away, but we got it. Okay. I'll, I'll go first and show you how it works. You express out loud while you're laughing. And by the way, fake laughing is not fake. It's real. Your body, mind, consciousness all feels that laughter. It's not going, wait a second now. That's not a funny joke. It's not even analyzing. There's no analyzing. It's right. just happening. You're in your presence. And then it becomes contagious. Once I start laughing, when I smile, you reflect it back to me, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Right? If yeah. I giggle, you're going to giggle back at me, right? Yep. That's what this is about. It's that connection. And there's nothing else in the world except for us doing this. All right. So breathe in through your nose and let out a ha. 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 <laughs> good, good, good. You already giggled at the end. That's great. Ha is very cleansing. Think about hallelujah. It's a celebration of life. When you're highing, you're getting better. You're getting higher of your higher consciousness. Ready? Another one of those. Ha. Ah. <laughs> I didn't have to tell you to go there. You just were led there by spirit. Now, do that. Giggle at the end until you can't breathe anymore. Ready? Ha. Ha. I can't anymore. I love it. Now. Okay, now. If you had any stress, I guarantee it went down a few points. You bet. Yeah. This is the space that I would like to exist in. Now, we're going to go upper level. Are you ready? I You're going to say out loud something that's in your way and of bliss. Something that's in your way, an obstacle, a fear, something that's in your way. I'll start it's to make you feel safer. Okay. You just laugh along with me, though. Ready? Okay. <sighs> <laughs> My ex-wife destroyed our finances. <laughs> I just got my credit report back. And I got dinged again. <laughs> I bought a new car. At the last second, they added eighty dollars a month because my credit is bad. <laughs> now into your nose. <sighs> now, it's still the same circumstances. I still have to pay eighty dollars a month more, but now I'm to the meaninglessness of it. Yes, you. Oh, this is great. Yeah. You know what it did for me? It made it objective. Yes. So you're not a victim. No. You're standing back yeah. and looking at just the facts. And it's powerful. It is it's, very powerful. It's empowering. Okay, now let me, I have a Are you question. you ready to go? No. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. Okay, I didn't think you were. But I have a question. Yes. The thing I picked. Okay. Heavy? Yes. And what keeps coming up for me is I can't talk about this in public. Oh. So can I hold pick on. another hold, thing? Hold on. Let's talk about that. Yeah. I honor that. And I actually prefer if people don't bring up the heavier things unless it's somewhere where it's just you and me. I'll do that with you and me sometime with no one else around and it's safe. And if it's not something you want to expose out there, I totally get it. And that's great. So I would yeah. choose something else if I were you. I had it happen in a group one time, and she really got heavy with rape. And it's already funky for people to go, what am I doing laughing at this? You know what I mean? It's, that's already funky. Well, add that element to it. That's too heavy for people. So I get that. And I would prefer that you don't because this really is giving the light touch to something that's a little heavy, not heavy, heavy. And to me, there's no, there's nothing that's too heavy. I mean, this is just part of my process in life. There's nothing that's too heavy. There's nothing I can't talk no, about. No, it's not that it's too heavy. It's, it's too heavy for other people. It's, it would be detrimental to my career. There you go. So Out. I'm going to choose not to do that here. Out. Okay. But I have one. Okay, ready? I have a good one. All right, here we go. All right, ready? <laughs> here we go. In through your nose and let out a ha, ha, ha. 
I'd hate to think what the other heavy one was that you rejected when you brought that one up. Well, I wanted to I'm going to do a lamentation on that. She's bringing up <laughs> something really uncomfortable. I applaud you for doing that. That's great. Now, take a breath and go, how do you feel? I, You guys have got to try this. <laughs> you have to try. I'm not kidding. It. You know, the other night we were watching Law and Order yeah. and this flashback scene came on about this woman thinking of herself when she was around 12 mm -hmm. and her parents were arguing right outside and her little brother got up to go out and she pulled him back and saved mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. That was every night of my life mm. when I was little. I I thought I'd handled it. I thought I watched that scene and lost it for right, 15 minutes. Right. Yes. This exercise that I just did with you shifted everything about that. Can I introduce that to my group? My yeah, my bring, followers. Bring me in. I told you today is about we're going to have a group. Okay. Okay. It's not your group. It's not my group. It's a group of higher consciousness people. We're, we're going to find out in, uh. in the, the reviews or in whatever it is, there's going to be people un, very uncomfortable. Well, uncomfortable is okay. And, but it's not, to, it's not okay to them. You. What I'm trying to say is oh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the ones who awaken from that and have a higher consciousness and, a, and awareness yeah that they hadn't had before and watching you be so brave as to say something. And when I said about being kidnapped by a serial pedophile, some people need to hear that. Some people will run for the hills. This is a comedian. I'm not in for this. This is horrible. It's okay. We've been funny too. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. not, a, it's not, it's not, it's not to be judged when you're in presence. It's oh. not to be judged. It's just there. It's just, it, 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 it's just, we're a reflection oh, of one another. I can't tell you how different it feels. You have to try this. Just in your mirror, in the bathroom. Just. Yeah. I've been doing this for a while. And I'm trying to, I'm bringing this to the world. This is my okay. higher consciousness telling me that this is the message that people need to hear is there's nothing too heavy. There's no burden, no fear too great. Yeah. You can get through all of it all and of have it. a different perspective, different perception. You're shifting your perception and by having a greater awareness. You see you and the world yeah. in yeah. a very, very different way. I want to keep high-fiving and way. bumping. Yeah. What, what, what are we doing here? What's, what's, the, what's that called? We have a 25 year bump, baby. What did we just do, Jack? Was that a bump? Got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I have a very with it daughter, Jack. She teaches me all the lingua. Lingo. Yeah. The lingua. The lingua. <laughs> so I might want to teach you that one too. That's I I we will create one by one people that join in on that. I have bunches of people that would hop in right now. Fantastic. So, and I have right a few now. as well. I bet you do. It's the key to what I want to what I'm doing with this podcast. I don't want to just be a comedian. I, there's a, so many comedians. They're great. They're wonderful comedians. They're outstanding, amazing, and they're doing wonderful work. And they're teaching people to laugh. They're teaching people, yeah. exactly. And they're bringing people to a healing. Yes. Whether they like it or they know it or not, or they're conscious of it, doesn't matter because laughter is the best medicine. It's yep. amazing how people say that and don't really mean it. Or understand it. Or understand, or or even a pursuit of happiness. It's all yeah. words unless you truly are pursuing happiness. How are you pursuing your happiness? How do you pursue your happiness every day? I, I dance naked in front of the mirror. You asked. <laughs> when I 
want to feel really good. Can we I... bring? Can we bring in a mirror? <laughs> I put on 60s music and I strip down and I dance with my dog. <laughs> can we put the, a sweat sock over the lens? and, uh, um, and <laughs> I can see my daughter on Instagram and go, oh, my <laughs> God, Mom. <laughs> my kids do the same thing. The other day, the other the other day, my it's so fun to be made. I I had kids so they could make fun of me. Yeah, absolutely. They're they're getting revenge on all the audiences I made fun of. All these I'm a comedian for a very long time. Yes, I know. So I have done this to other people, embarrassed them, and so on. Now I have these kids that are just giant clowns. They the other day we're driving, and my son I had invited them to this very special thing, this, this suite that I had. 14-year-old kids, they get in my car, and not one of them looked up for one second from their phone. Oh, my God. They're playing games with one another. Hey, Grumbus, you're, you're, you know, they're, like, talking to each other through this thing. And I'm going, hey, how's it going? Uh, Did you have a good year at school? Not a word back to me. And finally, I started filming them. And he looks up for one second, goes, you can film all you want, wherever you post it. They don't care because you have all boomers that follow you. <laughs> oh, ouch. And I started to defend myself. Wait a second. I got some Gen X's and some some other millennials that, that really like what I do. And he just goes right back into the game. Hey, by the way, really sweet kid. He is beyond. He's 75 years old. Such an old soul. You've met those people, right? Uh-huh. Many times. Many times. This one is for sure. Like... What do they call? Why am I blanking on the word for it? The type of uh, it's a it's a color. What 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 what's uh the, the type of child that don't is? Don't have the slightest idea what the hell you're talking really? about. Really? Yeah. There's something. There is something child. Oh, indigo. Indigo. That's indigo. it. I said it was a color. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't remember that. He's got a little bit of that going on. He's just and he's a, and he's so good to his little sister, Aww. which is also so beautiful to watch. Yeah, you bet. I had a tough relationship with my sister growing up i was the older brother she doesn't speak to me now for 10 years oh yeah it is sad now that one is sad and i could laugh at tation that one yeah and i'm very sad with anyone that does the cut off thing the silent thing i just talked to my son is also Do doing you send it right her now. love oh yeah yeah. Do you talk I, to her energy? I do. I talk do you, to you know you can talk to people's energy yeah. and their energy gets your message that it gets your your energy. I think me and everyone else needs to hear that. We Absolutely. need we need to hear that you can find solutions without speaking to the person directly. Yeah, and they get it and I They're going to get it eventually. I yeah. have helped a lot of people in my community use that tool and and they have attested to how their relationships with those people have changed yeah. and come about again. You know the mistake I make? Maybe it's not a mistake. It's all meant to be. I ask other people to intervene to tell them as a translator when I have the power to do the work. I don't need that other person to, hey, can you talk to so-and-so? Can you, can you straighten them out and say, hey, how about we have a neutral party step in or all that's all that human stuff when it's really not about the human stuff. And I make that mistake all the time. I try to enlist other people to help me in these situations. I think I can figure it out. Have you been that way your whole life is like, because you had some tragedies and some traumas, you obviously. Think? Yeah. <laughs> I think. I know. Are you a fixer? I mean, were you a fixer at one time? I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to do whatever it takes to deal with this this this. Well, I had wound? to. My message when I was a little girl, my little D inside said, if you don't save everybody, everybody dies, and then you die too. There you go. And yeah. I'm that way too. Yeah. I'm a rescuer. And sometimes, and I paint red flags green. Well, I now see. I know I can't create you've for ev- another You've evolved, person. yes. Yeah. That's why I say the way you used to be. Because yeah. I, I had a feeling, an instinct that that's the way. We, you don't have another choice when you're no, young. when you're young. When you're young, now you don't. Of course, now we have You can a, retrain that little person. Exactly. So the the choice that you and I made was, oh, here's some tragedies. Here's some really difficult circumstances. Here's some great fears. Oh, my God, what's coming at me next? I have to deal with this in some way that I don't have to feel. I, <laughs> right. Distract. That's how I spent most of my childhood. What's next? What? 
Who's coming? What's going to happen? Yeah, talk about panic attacks. Yeah. I had panic attacks as a, as a child. Sure. And it, but it's all you have, and you don't have anyone going, can I sit down with you gently and take you through this attack? No, there's no one there that's going to do that. Yeah. But I'd like to be that person for others. I would like to have a group that people can go to for that kind of comfort. And so they can learn mm-hmm. to do it on mm-hmm. their own behalf. Exactly. And, you know. You can't make it happen. You can't rescue, but you can share the gained wisdom. Yeah. And if people listen to those experiences, even my comedy, I only talk about my experiences, so people can't be mad at my, it's not my opinion, it's my experience. And everything we've talked about today is our experiences. You bet. When you think about it. And we even had new experiences in here. You're going to steal a couple of my things. You're going to go back. <laughs> Icon, remember? Yes, <laughs> You can play this I'm back. with you, babe. You can play, play I'm this with back. you. You learned guided lapidation today. I love that. I love that. I hope this that. was as beautiful for you as it was for me. You bet it was, and baby. I, and I saw you years ago. I said, that is the woman that I want on. I want to connect with her. Wow. Okay? I said Weird it years that ago. It took us so long. I just couldn't find you. You know, I'm going to tell you something, a little critique. You got to make it a little easier on people to find you. I, yeah, go online. I'm everywhere. I, I did, and I couldn't find an access point. You, it took Frankie. If you put in it, D Wallace, I am D Wallace.com is the first thing that comes up. Okay, and then what? Then how do we contact you? Is that on there? Absolutely. Well, apparently, I'm a my te- personal I'm a, email. I'm a tech. I'm really D at I am all this D. Time, Wallace. All this time, it, it took Frankie. Frankie made all it All my books I've written are on there. Everything's on my book. Wo- there you go. That's Bullshit. a great way to close. All of her Bullshit. books are on there. I did try. Okay. Ask Frankie. He Ask did Frankie try. how excited I was when I heard that she knew you. I said, oh, my God, it's my number one guest. And By the way, I know a lot of big other, people. Huh? You know, a long time ago. You're talking about and, before this carnation? Yeah. And and she and I just happened to oh, run each other. Oh, you mean other. Frankie? I thought you meant you and I have known each other in another life. Oh, forever. Most likely, probably brother and sister. Then that would be weird that you said you're going to dance naked. That, that now I'm really uncomfortable. I used to <laughs> dance naked with my brother. We didn't think about it. Now it's going to get even. It. Now it went Jack upper is level. Jack dying over went here. Up this poor twenty-five-year-old. <laughs> From the valley. When we were little. The, the two parents had stayed together. Are you kidding? You think he wants to hear any of this stuff? No, he does not. He's shaking Get his camera. Job I can't in, wait babe. to see the editing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's oh, my God. Well, listen, thank you so much for being here. I mean that. And I would love to do this another time without a microphone. Okay. And we'll just go. We'll hang. do it. All right. I hope you all. Oh, I have a gift for you because I know you are into not only higher consciousness, you're into your health. I am. Because it takes good physical health. And look at this. Immune HD from Viotech. This oh. is my gift to you. Oh, Along thank with you. my mug stuck between Namaste and Kiss My Ass. Both of these things are a perfect gift for you. They are. But these vitamins, hold on. Let me, let me Especially because just... I'm traveling tomorrow. So. Boost your focus, your mood, your energy. That's what all this does. This is the greatest. By the way, I forgot to tell her the inventor is actually here, the creator. She's actually here in the other room. I forgot to tell her. I am literally feeling different physically i walked seven and a half this. miles this morning like it was nothing i could have gone on further seven but i had and appointments. a half mile? i walked seven and a half miles like it was nothing wow i looked at my remember this morning i came in jack I'm and i said checking a whole bunch of this and stuff. i said how far did i go and and you're like and they, they said check and i checked my little heart thing on the you know on the iphone on the thing on the thing and the thing yeah and then i had to <laughs> and then i had to ask siri for the math i go siri sixteen thousand steps how far did i go it's like oh, over seven miles wow and that's i think it has to do somewhat with this and you can order this online, or where do you, you get it? You don't have to order it. You get After it. After today. <laughs> where do people get it? Let me see. Oh, geez, I don't know. You do, go to Sorry, my Sorry, I do too many commercials. Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's going to tell us in the, in the headphones. What's that? Viotechnutritionals.com. And go there, and you will see they have a number of things. They have testosterone boost. And, oh, I need that. Okay. <laughs> Brain booster. I actually have that in the other room as well. So you can walk out of here with feeling good next week look out for you i do feel good this has been awesome (laughs) uplifting right you bet laughter is very good for you listen just laughter is the best medicine this is my this is my outro i'm going to try this one jack what do you think of this one 
Laughs. 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 I need an out. I need an out. Like, hey, everybody, and thank you and good night. You know, with like whatever. Sign out with my, some my, laughter. My sign out. How about laughter is the best medicine. Just open up and say, ha ha. Is that good? No, it's no good. We'll See you next time. It. Make Bye. sure you like and share. <laughs> oh, my God. We are here today on Still Standing Up with Craig Shoemaker, and I'm sitting down with someone I have wanted to have as a guest for quite some time. D. Wallace. Forget the stone. <laughs> She almost stoned me when I said you're D. Oh, Wallace I Stone. Didn't. Yes, you did. I I, I, I felt it. The, the, the psychic Bullshit. stoning, the psychic stoning that I got for using the <laughs> stone. And wait till you check out this interview, one that I've wanted to manifest for quite some time. It's fun.